na si Rene J is top one ngayon sa most heroes used. And sobrang effective ng versatility mo kasi yung iba, even though they use new heroes, hindi effective in a sense na sila natatalo. Ikaw naman, kadamihan na nananalo. In fact, most of the heroes that you've used, you've never used before. Like yung Rafaela mo, um, Novaria, um, madame, kadamihan because you had a different role. What, what's with this new Rana J? What's your, how hard did you work for this? And what's your motivation? Siguro po yung ano, yung motivation ko siguro yung mga ano, yung mga taong di na niniwala sa akin. So, um, lahat naman po ng mga pinraktis ko, lahat yun pinaghirapan ko talaga. Lahat sila, hindi ko agad-agad ano, agad-agad na master. Talagang ginrain ko talaga siya. Tapos, nagtanong ako sa mga coaches kung paano gamitin yung bawat hero na yun. So, yun po. <laughs> Alam niyo ba, in seven series, Rana J has used nine different heroes. Give him a round of applause. Great job, Rana J. Edward naman, Edward. Edward. Ayan, sabi ko na nga mo, may titilik pag hinawakan ni Edward yung mic. Great job, by the way. Alam mo, kitang-kita yung dominance mo game one pa lang kasi ikaw na kaagad nakakuha ng first three kills. Kita yung gigil, kita yung dominance. Pero, Maliban sa game, ang ating Hall of Legends, very influential Hall of Legends. Ito kasi, Edward, magkakaroon ut ulit tayo ng voting for the next Hall of Legends inductee. In fact, hanggang October 5 lang. So, napakabilis lang at magkuklose ka agad yung ating voting. If you were to vote for somebody na hindi included sa Blacklist International, sino ba sa tingin mo ang deserving? Uh, tingin ko po si Coach Ducky kasi matagal na rin siya sa, ano, sa pro scene. Ayan. Si Coach Ducky. Apo. And what, what, what else? What is it about? Why do you think he deserves it? Uh, ayun, na, yung mga sibol, ano niya, yung mga achievements niya rin po na, ano, na napapatunayan niya yung sarili niya ganun. Inipitahan na muna natin din ang ating mga manonood, pati yung crowd dito, to vote kasi hanggang October 5 lang. Especially ikaw, alam mo yung pakinamdam na maging Hall of Legends inductee. Go ahead, share it. Ah, uh, yun guys. Ibot, mag-start na kayo mag-boat ngayon. Ah, uh, ibot yung si Coach Daki. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can vote whoever they want, but he's gonna vote Coach Daki. Thank you so much. Now, it's time to announce the match MVP. Let me hear some names. All right, let's take a look at the screen for the match, MVP. Oheb! Oheb! Again! Oheb, congratulations! Congratulations, tinapos nyo ang inyong round one on a great note. Now, you're gonna have a tough challenge ahead. Yung susunod na game nyo will be against Echo Philippines, which has evidently been a struggle since season 11. And the last time matinalo nyo sila actually since upper bracket pa, nahirapan kayo ng M4. So what is going to be different this time around sa so round 2 going up against Echo? And how are you guys going to handle this? Um, siguro ano, next week, hindi lang sa Echo, kundi sa mga iba pa namin kalaban siguro. Marami silang may kitang bago na ano, marami may pasabog na ilalabas siguro next week na ano, kaabang-abang talaga. Meron ka bang message sa inyong fiercest opponent? Kasi ang Echo right now, solo number one. Nobody near them. Everybody else is fighting for number two. Do you have a message to them? Um, siguro ano, Next, ano, next week, siguro, marami silang makikita bago ga galing sa amin. Yun siguro. And we're looking forward to that, Oheb. Once again, everybody, give it up for Blacklist International. You may now take your bow and take your walk of victory. Congratulations to Blacklist International. And with that, 
Blacklist is at now third place sa ating standings. Hihimayin natin ang kanilang magandang ipinakita. Babalik tayo sa ating casters. Pass up.